When astronauts come back to Earth from space, they're usually a couple of inches taller than they were before leaving our planet. Your body acts in an unusual way when you free it from gravity. Without your entire weight that compresses the cartilage in your spine and joints, your body gets a bit longer in zero-gravity conditions. But this doesn't last forever. The effect goes away after some time. A similar thing happens on Earth, too. When you lie down for a good night's sleep, you get a bit taller. No more than 0.4 inches, but still. That's why you're taller in the morning than you are at the end of the day. You can't recall a memory all by itself. When you're trying to think of one detail, like the color of the t-shirt your friend was wearing the other week, you'll remember some other details too. For example, the place where you saw him, things you were talking about. The hippocampus is the part of your brain that stores memories. It usually packs them together, including multiple small details. On average, taste buds last 10 days. Clusters of sensory cells in your tongue. The buds that are closer to the surface are more short-lived. That's the reason you don't have to wait for too long to be able to taste again after burning your tongue. One theory says deja vu is some sort of a brain processing lag. Scientists think it might happen when your brain is transferring information from one side to the other, and there's a split-second delay in that process. That means that your brain gets the same information twice and processes it as the event that happened before. Only 30% of people can flare their nostrils, and one-third can bend their thumb backward. Some people can produce a roaring noise in their heads. All they have to do is tense their ears or jaws. There's a small muscle in the ear. It dampens loud sounds, like when you're chewing. But some people can flex that muscle, and that creates an audible rumble. Your fingertips are sensitive, but hundreds of times less so than your lips. You inhale lots of different types of debris, including 700,000 of your own skin flakes, and that's only in a day. A hypnic jerk is a twitch you can experience when falling asleep. It's an abrupt muscle movement that comes during the non-REM sleep phase. It can create an illusion of falling. One of the theories is that, when you're dozing off, your brain sees the relaxing of your muscles as a sign you're in trouble and really falling so it sends signals to the muscles to protect you by tensing up. Synesthesia is a special and rare ability where people can taste music or hear colors. Only one in every 2,000 people has it. For some people, cilantro may taste similar to soap because the plant contains a chemical used in soap making. But only 4 to 14% of the world's population have special genes that can detect it. Your nose, toes, hands, and many other body parts can freeze, but eyeballs easily deal with the cold, even if you leave them completely unprotected. When people put on goggles or glasses, it's mostly to protect their eyes from wind or snow glare, not from the cold, no matter how low temperatures are. The thing is that unlike other parts of your body, your eyes get supplies of warm blood at all times, even in the coldest surroundings. They are filled with many blood vessels that constantly heat them up. Also, they're placed deep in your head, where fat, tissue, and bones help keep them warm. It's almost impossible for the eyes to freeze as long as the rest of the body functions. There are three reasons why curly hair is, well, curly. First, the follicle from which the curly strand of hair grows has an oval shape, unlike the circular follicle that produces straight hair. Number two, a curly hair strand exits the surface of the skin at more of an angle if you compare it to a straight hair, which makes it curve as it grows. And finally, the shape of curly hair helps form the chemical bonds between protein molecules in a single strand, which makes the hair even curlier. The brain can't actually feel pain. It does have a pain center, but it doesn't have pain receptors itself. When your head hurts, you can feel it because of the nerves, tissues, and blood vessels around your brain. A single human hair can support 3.5 ounces of weight. That's how much two candy bars weigh. Toenails grow almost four times more slowly than fingernails that get more exposure and are used more frequently. There must be at least some photos where you have red eyes. When the camera's flash goes off, your eyes aren't prepared for such an influx of light. Your pupils remain dilated, which is why the light gets reflected off the red blood vessels of the choroid. 
This is a layer of tissue at the back of your eye that nourishes your retina. The right lung is bigger than the left one because your body needs to make some room for the heart. Your teeth are the only part of your body that can heal itself. The masseter is the strongest muscle you have, based on its weight. Together with the rest of the raw muscles, it can close your teeth with a force of 200 pounds on the molars and 55 pounds on the incisors. Onions produce a special chemical irritant. It stimulates special glands in your eyes, causing them to release tears. Your nose can memorize up to 50,000 different scents and detect more than one trillion of odors. We all have our unique smell, except for identical twins. This smell is partly determined by genetics, but it also depends on your diet, hygiene, and the environment. Eating snow is not the best way to stay hydrated. Your body needs too much energy to turn it into water. Snow can provide a bit of hydration, but it'll also lower the temperature of your body, which isn't the best scenario if you're trying to survive harsh winter conditions. You burn somewhere between 100 and 200 calories per hour while standing. Sitting burns 60 to 130 calories, depending on your height, weight, gender, and age. Brain freeze is an annoying ice cream headache. That's how your brain tells you to slow down and maybe stop eating something that's so cold. The main purpose of eyelashes is to shield your eyes and protect them from sand, moisture, dust, and debris in the air. Your eyelashes sense when something comes up too close to your eyes, like an insect flying toward you, and trigger your blink reflex. Blinking also helps when you need to flush out some tiny particles or debris stuck in your puncta. Those are small openings you have in your eyelids. That's where the tears get pumped out. Your eyebrows stop sweat from running directly into your eyes. Your skin there and the shape of your bones also work together to direct the sweat toward the sides of your face. We're not the fastest, strongest, or biggest in the animal kingdom, but we're the best at long distance running. That's because we have long legs and our bodies can lose excess heat through sweating. Even long ago, our ancestors hunted animals by chasing them for long periods of time. Eventually, it wore smaller creatures out. Here's a young man in a business suit. He's got a secret. He's in the bathroom, standing in front of the mirror, washing his face with cold water to cheer up. There's no one else here besides him, but he's not alone. The guy looks nervous. He slaps his cheeks, looks in the mirror, and says, Don't worry, we can deal with it. We've been going to this for so long, we will win. He said we, not because he has a split personality. And no, he's not talking to someone else through a small microphone. He said we, because he knows a secret. Technically, he's not all human, but a group of billions of living creatures. Him, you, and all the people on Earth aren't really who they think they are. Only 43% of your body is made up of human cells. The remaining 57% are microbes and bacteria. Now this guy is going on stage to tell us this secret. Get on the scales. See the number? Now subtract a little more than half from it. This is your actual weight. Everything else is microscopic organisms. It's hard to believe because, in this case, your body should constantly change its shape, disintegrating into tiny particles. You would see your skin pulsating and continually moving. Fortunately, this doesn't happen for two reasons. Firstly, microbes are tiny. Their movements aren't visible. Secondly, most of this microbial world is in a dark place we can't see. A place without access to oxygen. In our intestines. It's where billions of little creatures are roaming. Feeling kind of crowded, huh? Some of them appeared before we were born. But most were colonists who came with food and water. On your body's surface, all microbes come from the environment. Every corner of your skin is covered with microbes. No matter how you try, it's impossible to get rid of them. There are more microbes than human cells. Our genome consists of about 20,000 genes. The number of microbes genes in the human body is about 2 to 20,000 million. That means that technically, we're not people, but microbes. Fortunately, it's not so bad. The genome of microbes complements our own. Such a model of existence reveals many opportunities for medicine. The human microbiome includes bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms, all of them divided into many species, and each type performs its own functions. 
Some microbes are responsible for vitamin extraction from food. Others help the breakdown of destructive substances. Another type helps your tummy digest food. A separate group regulates your immune system, protects it against ills, parasites, and viruses. Some control weight. Simply put, microbes make your life better, help your body function, and affect your health. There are microorganisms that provoke many diseases. They impair immunity or affect vital organs. Imagine you know exactly which bacteria are responsible for feeling unwell. Next, you find a way to rid yourself of them. It can be some pill with poison against those microbes. You drink it, and the cure erases all the harmful pests inside your body. A disease might appear because of the lack of beneficial microbes. This is one of the ways doctors heal many people in the world. Now let's say you've determined a group of microbes that help strengthen muscles. Then you find out which trace element helps these bacteria work faster and more efficiently. You add this vitamin to food or just get a pill containing a billion of these microbes. As a result, your muscles grow twice as fast. The presence of some microbes or the lack of others can show the state of your entire body. A sample of your microbes can indicate your level of health or the presence of some disease. Any person can improve their body not only with the help of genetic engineering, but with microbial medicine. Studying human microbes is cheaper, more efficient, and faster than expensive, complex gene modifications. This area is just beginning to develop all over the world, but there are already some discoveries. All right, quick question. Do you think you know everything about your own body? Are you sure? Well, how about the fact that 25% of an adult's bones are in their feet? Or that taste buds aren't actually those bumps on your tongue? Well, get ready for some eye-openers. Ow! No, no, we're really not going to open someone's eyes. I don't do surgery here on the bright side. Well, maybe in a future video. Anyway, here we go with a big batch of biological background bots to boggle your brain. Your stomach gets a new lining every 3-4 to days. This way, your body prevents the stomach from digesting itself. Your brain contains more than 86 billion nerve cells, which are joined with one another by 100 trillion connections. That's many more than the number of stars in our home Milky Way galaxy. By the way, if you decided to count all those numerous nerve cells in your brain, it would take you up to 3,000 years. Better get started. Your fingernails grow faster on your dominant hand. In other words, if you write with your right hand, you'll have to trim those nails more often. Your fingernails also grow faster in the summer and during the day. When your brain sends messages to different parts of your body, the signals travel along your nerves at a speed of up to 270 miles per hour. It's way faster than a sports car. People spend more than four years of their lives eating. Wow, is the restaurant service that slow? Eh, just kidding. The fastest muscles in your body are those that make your eyes blink. Their contraction speed is one blink in less than one hundredth of a second. In a day, you can blink more than 15,000 times. In their lifetime, the average person processes more than 100,000 pounds of food. That's more than the weight of seven elephants combined. And how do you eat an elephant? Yeah, one bite at a time. If someone decided to uncoil the human DNA, the whole thing would stretch for 10 billion miles, which is 40,000 times more than the distance between the Earth and the Moon. If you don't have insomnia, you're likely to spend around one-third of your life asleep. But there are creatures that sleep even more. For example, for a dog, this time is 44% of their life, and for a python, 75%. During just one day, all the blood in your body travels more than 12,000 miles. That's half as long as the distance around Earth. Your skeleton will renew itself completely within 10 years. And yes, without surgery. An adult uses around 200 muscles to make just one step. And don't tell me I don't work out enough. Every minute, your body sheds more than 3,000 skin cells. It's almost 200,000 skin cells per hour and more than 9 pounds per year. Hey, it's the Shedding Skin Cells Weight Loss Plan. But don't worry, you still have about 300 million skin cells at any given moment. Plus, your skin completely renews itself every 28 to 30 days. The liver is the only human organ that can regenerate completely. As little as 25% of the original liver weight can get back to its full size. 
Skin cells create a lot of dust, not only under your bed, but also in the Earth's atmosphere. If someone collected all the flaked-off skin cells floating in the air, this dust would weigh up to a billion tons. It's 150 times the weight of the Great Pyramid. How's that for a comparison? Now, you won't see your taste buds by the naked eye because they're too tiny. The small bumps most people take for taste buds are called papillae. Real taste buds are on top of these hair-like projections. By the way, taste buds also have a very short life cycle. They live for no longer than 10 to 14 days, so they get a very short taste of life. (laughs) The average person has more than 100,000 hairs on their head. And since this hair grows about 6 inches per year, it'll make more than 40 feet in a lifetime. Some people can hear their eyeballs moving inside the eye sockets. Wow, that must be no fun. Now, unlike other parts of your body, your ears and nose never stop growing. Wow, that must be no fun. (laughs) Your skin wrinkles if you stay in the water for too long, but not because it absorbs water. When your body's wet, wrinkled fingers and toes provide you with a better grip. You know, like when the treads on your car tires grip the road better when they're new. Your eyes are an amazing instrument. They can distinguish between 10 million different colors. Your brain uses more than 20% of your body's energy, even when you're resting. When you're asleep, it still consumes almost as much power as when you're awake. It also burns about 330 calories per day at that. An adult person has about 25% of all their bones in their feet. Most of them are tiny but crucial. If these bones are out of alignment, so is the rest of the body. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.